What's up everybody, Leon here and today it's about these sweet guys, smoke bombs. And I will tell you how to take better pictures and videos of it and avoid the mistakes I made when first shooting smoke bombs. Enjoy! Last week I published two videos with showcasing me and my friends playing with smoke bombs in abandoned buildings in Berlin. Hope you checked it out, hope you liked it, but if not, yeah, I linked it here again. And it reminds me of my beginning shooting smoke bombs. A few months ago I saw awesome footage of smoke bombs and thought, hey, dude, you can do this too and ordered a few smoke bombs asked some friends and yeah we had a great time but the photo outcome was pretty bad we had five smoke bombs and uh, three of them all the footage was unusable because uh, i failed it was focus i overexposed uh, i had other problems you do not want to know but i don't want that you make the same mistakes that i made so my first piece of advice is to hold the smoke bomb at the very end because you think oh shit are getting fucking hot so don't try to grab it with your full hand grab it at the very end and well you can see they're not pretty heavy so you can move it also without any problem but you won't get burned and <laughs> hold it here and not in another way the first question i came up with where the heck do i get them and well it's pretty simple just go to google and search smoke bombs and in Germany we have this shop called pyroweb.de and there you can buy them but uh, they're pretty expensive so because they only last for about 60 seconds you have to pay 3 to over 5 euros for one of them and yeah depending if you want to buy 10 smoke bombs yeah well you have to pay around 40 bucks and that's not cheap at all i would recommend do not buy one do not buy two buy at least five you need more because if you only have one you have got one shot and if you fail yeah you have to go home and also the smoke bombs as pyrotechnic have to get some kind of special shipping which is at least in Germany, more expensive than normal shipping and you do not want to pay shipping twice because you ordered two smoke bombs uh, two times and not at once. So better you plan on what you're going to shoot with them and that's my next point because as always in photography or videography filming is king. You have to decide where to pop the smoke bombs. You can't go on the main street and say hey Go away people, I want to burn one smoke bomb. No, and you're getting in trouble with the police and no. I recommend going to an abandoned building because it's also an environment the smoke must pretty well fit in. Because as the name indicates, these uh, produce a lot of smoke and that could cause the police or the firefighters to come and when they realize, oh, there's no fire at all, you have to pay for, they, for them coming and you do not want this. Let's talk about the gear you should use or what you need to photograph smoke bombs. So pretty simple, a camera and one lens and that's it. But I recommend using a wide open lens, so 1.8, 1.4 for example, because the smoke is pretty fast and you also have the fast movement and you want to freeze it in to get the nice structures of the smoke. And also it looks pretty awesome if you have only a small shallow, shallow depth of field because then the smoke in the background will be not as sharp as the model or whoever is holding the smoke bomb 
and yes it also gives you like this more professional feel and talking about lenses it's not important whether you use super wide angle or 35 or 70 200 i have shot smoke box with uh, the 200 mil but also with 18 millimeter and 10 millimeters everything could look great and yeah i recommend just try out see what fits best and also use what you have and if you have multiple smoke bombs which you're going to pop in different locations then i would recommend yeah of course trying out different kind of lenses different kind of focal lengths and not always shooting 35 1.4 <laughs> they had the close up no and getting back to camera and equipment I wouldn't recommend using a tripod because hey you want to get different angles and it's really boring just be on the tripod and press the shutter release and no and try to position as many cameras as possible around your model because the smoke bunk only will last for 60 seconds and you want to get as much footage as you probably can so what I did I had one video camera in my hand, I had a, a friend of mine shooting with my photo camera and I had to put my cell phone down on the ground to also capture a third angle. You could do this also with some kind of GoPros or drone or <laughs> two photographers more. And what's also very important when you plan shooting on smoke points, keep in mind what the, are the conditions. So if it's super windy, Nah, better not use smoke bombs because well with the wind the smoke fades away and there's no smoke at all and i also wouldn't recommend to go when it's bright sunlight because then yeah the smoke bombs you wouldn't see them as good as maybe when you're inside a building and the sun is shining through some kind of window like behind me and uh, illuminates the smoke from the side then you can see the smoke pretty good um, but when the sun is just everywhere it's totally bright no i wouldn't recommend that time of the day yeah, and as always blue hour sun with that sunrise is always yeah the time for great images so imagine you're now in this uh, super, super dope abandoned building at the perfect time of the day and you want to pop it right now, but eh, the planning is not yet finished because there are some more issues which, which you should keep in mind. So first of all, you need a fast SD card or fast memory card because yeah, these things burn for 60 seconds and then it's over. So in the 60 seconds, you will try to fire off as many pictures as you can, but I wouldn't recommend using the burst mode because then you will fire off like 60, sec 60 images in the first two seconds and then yeah, your buffer is full and you can take any more pictures. So this was, happened to me with my first smoke point. I was shooting, shooting, shooting and halfway through, fuck no way i couldn't shoot my memory card was full i had it was writing and i oh, i want to take this picture but i could and so and what's also really important is with a lot of smoke in the air with most cameras the autofocus will suck so better first think about going manual focus or just using the cross type middle focus point and pointing somewhere and then moving the camera but I cannot recommend the autofocus because yeah, then it will focus on the background or somewhere in the smoke or on the hand where you do not want the focus to be. And well, as videographers always use the manual focus. And this was also one of my first experiences I had. I tried to focus and the focus pulls near and closer and uh, I couldn't take the image I want. And the third thing to keep in mind is how you move the smoke bomb you so you can do a lot of things with it you can move it up or around but i wouldn't recommend to use it super super fast so it's more than like this flowy slow movement and not super fast like i want to fight you with a smoke bomb uh, that's in my opinion not the way to go and it also looks pretty yeah, not this kind of moody, stylish, when you move it that super fast. <laughs> and that brings me to my next point. Talk with your model and 
first of all before you pop the smoke bomb because most of people when they have first time a smoke bomb think oh 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 there's coming a lot of smoke out of it but hey what should i do with it so what i did with the second or third time shooting smoke bombs we in the beginning discussed so what you're going to do like some kind of choreography so you taking one step closer one more away then turning or well whatever whatever it is or going a bit lower a bit higher moving closer to me and what's also pretty pretty important that while the smoke bomb is burning keep communicating so tell your model or tell him what he or she should do so you are the man behind the camera you have to take the picture you have to decide what to do so if you just uh, throws the smoke bomb in the air and you can't uh, cannot see him anymore or his face and tell him yeah well move a step closer to the camera or to the right <laughs> So, and what's also super important, do not stop shooting when the smoke bomb is over because there's still a lot of smoke in the air and what's pretty beautiful is that the smoke in the air is some kind of pollution and that's why you can see some kind of light rays or so if you're inside the building and this can look super super cool and also you can get some pretty amazing effects and yeah don't stop too early so this was it for today i hope you liked the video i hope you learned something if you took great images of smoke bombs post me your instagram link down below or ask me any questions if you have them don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe and i will see you in my next video